Hey guys, welcome back and you're in tune to the Toby Tobia channel where everything's good here. Based on the title of the video, you already know what today's video will be about. I decided, since we're in quarantine-ish, I decided to show you guys my favorite hair and hair care products. I'm going to show you all of them and of course I'm going to mention what products are my special favorite. But before we go into this video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and follow me on socials and engage with me. And if you are a subscriber already, thank you so much. Now today I'm filming this video on the patio, on the porch, and so you're going to hear, see that, see that, taxi up you're going to hear a lot of background noises and so forth and also you're going to see natural light on my face so if you see some little difference in the lighting in the video please don't mind it but if you do want to help me grow help my channel grow and help me to buy some equipment Click in the description box down below and you will find my paper where you can send over some coins for your sis. So you know, yeah. So let's start this video. So while I'm showing you my set of hair care products, I am going to go ahead and do a pull-out style for you guys. Yes, yes, I'm gonna bless you guys. But, mind you guys, I have been in the house sleeping most of the time. If I don't have work or anything important to do, I don't have any special occasion or any event coming up to go to. So, I haven't combed my hair. And Honestly, these braids that you're about to see, I've had them in for about a week. I washed my hair about a week ago, a week and a half ago, and I had my hair in an afro. But then it was getting a little bit dry, so I I plait it up, I braid it up, and I haven't pulled it out since. So that's what you're about to see. So bear with me. Don't laugh after me. And don't shame me. So, I'm gonna go ahead. This is my favorite, um, what I call it? It is a satin scarf that I use for my edges. As you can see, it's thinner. Um, it's thinner than regular scarves. So I use this one for my edges or when I want to keep my bonnet in place because my bonnet is a bit stretchy. Keep it in place while I sleep. Whoa. so I'm going to show you the back of my hair and the sides so you guys can see it more clearly how it look guys it not look too bad don't share me no don't share me I'm gonna go through my hair products for you now so first product on the list Actually, I want to start with all the shampoos and conditioners because I won't be using them in my hair while I do my pull down of my braids. So the first product is my Keta Plus shampoo and this is a, in a 60 uh, milliliter bottle. I haven't used this product a lot. When I was younger, I it wasn't this shampoo that I used this, but when I was younger, I normally would use something for my scalp. Um, but this Keta Plus, it is for dandruff and support dermatitis of scalp. I hope I pronounced that right. And it was prescribed to me by the doctor. And it, 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 should, it should reduce the dandruff on my scalp and everything. But I haven't been consistent with this. Don't ask me why. I just haven't been consistent with it. Now next on the agenda is my favorite line of hair care products they are the zimmy shampoo and conditioner this is my favorite go-to shampoo and conditioner why because they're just real good 
and it's distributed here in Jamaica you can pick this up at any pharmacy any wholesale or local beauty store so here I am giving you an up close of the bottle this is the shampoo the ultra moisturizing and conditioning shampoo and here I am showing you the ultra moisturizing conditioner they both have a fruity scent which I really really love when I have my hair dry and crusty especially like this so when I use this my hair it just feels renewed like my hair just feels it, it you know when your hair happy that's how my hair feels now when I condition my hair I like to comb it out I don't know if persons normally do that but I comb my hair while I'm conditioning it and it gives my hair this silky feel now condition is not necessarily supposed to foam that's not its job now, conditioner's job is just to add a little moisture into your hair after the shampoo which normally rids it of some natural oils from your scalp right and this it it just moisturize it help me tangle and it just give me here some bumps I'm gonna know how to explain it you just have to buy the product and try it next product lineup is the cream of nature pure honey moisturizing dry defense shampoo now now the cream of nature pure honey is for dry dehydrated hair and it contains pure honey rich coconut oil creamy shea butter and this line of product has no sulfates no mineral oil and no silicone I have the shampoo and the conditioner and as you can see guys I only have the shampoo now and I've had my product for about two years there about and guys me pinch pinch it because I don't want it done but I love it it cleanses your hair it detangles and softens yeah but let me be honest the shampoo it moisturizes but I want to say the conditioner it leaves my hair very dry and that's not what a conditioner is supposed to do so I'm kind of glad the conditioner done anyways but yeah the shampoo is the better one so that's it for the shampoos and conditioners that i adore so now i'm going to go ahead and start do this braid out i'm going to continue with some other products along the way so just bear with me uh, this is kind of all over the place now first before i do my braid out i'm going to just damp my hair i love to use water as the basis for my styles because water just helps any product to seep into my hair shaft get it moisturized i have low porosity here so i think that's a reason why so there now i have my hair wet the first product that i'm going to roll out is my pure lean multivitamin hair food now you guys know this product this is a og product your mommy use it your grandma use it your great grandma use it and it's not good for us probably this was the reason why a lot of our hair was breaking off when we were younger because poor mommy never know the nice clean product them for using away here I'm not going to use this product on my scalp today because what I noticed is that when I put it on my scalp I think it clogs it so I, I do it in moderation I don't use it a lot a lot so don't kill me for using it but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it on each little mini braid that I have what I like about this product is that it moisturizes yeah so I use it for its moisturizing benefits and the fact that it's so affordable another product that I use for my twist out is the Benjamin's extra virgin olive oil and it's it, it is good for all-purpose use in terms of skin and hair I use this on my scalp and I use this on my hair ends no I'm not gonna do the olive oil on my individual braids I just use like a little bit and I just spread it evenly and I just rub it over my hair and everything next on the agenda are products that I use for when I do twist outs or braid outs or if I have my hair in an afro 
So another product that I have from the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line is its Moisture Whip Twisting Cream. And this also contains pure honey, rich coconut oil, and creamy shea butter. And this is also from their line of no sulfates, no silicones, and no mineral oil. I love this product and I've had it for about two years also. Yes, me pinch pinch this one also. And as you can see, it's a done. It's a done, guys. It's especially good for dry, dehydrated hair. And I don't know, but I'm not a fan of coconut oil, but this one just hits the spot I especially love to use this product when I am doing a twist right before I go to bed usually on wet hair I put it on wet hair twist my hair and then go to bed with it yeah and it smells good guys it smells so nice and next favorite of mine is the auntie Jackie's curls and coils curl a lot defining custard and it's a friend of mine that put me onto this brand I use this when I am doing a twist out, a braid out, or when I put my hair up in a puff and I want the ends of my hair to get soft. It really softens my hair and it's very lightweight on my hair. I have low porosity hair and I don't know how to explain the science of this on my hair, but it gives it a nice moisturized feeling. I can say I'm fairly new to natural hair care and this product it my hair says thanks when I get it because it moisturizes my ends my ends are very dry and brittle and it, it just adds some life to my curls oh my god I can't even explain it and it smells so good and the price is right it is affordable so I can I can say this is your money worth because it's at a reasonable price and in a in a dig in a dig out your pocket next product on this list is my olive oil ors hair lotion and this is a moisturizing agent for me mainly because i use it on my afros when i just want to touch up the style i have this olive oil hair lotion also in the fusion with castor oil and those two oils are my favorite olive oil and castor oil this product is really good for even my twist right as i'm adding twisting creams to it i also add the moisturizing lotion it has a okay smell and it's not a very strong odor so i really appreciate that so i'm gonna go ahead and take this amount and I'm going to add it to my braids. For this product, I also put it on my scalp, like I'll rub it in as I'm doing now just the moist and it I love it on my hair ends also just it does the same job of the anti jackies curl it, it the only thing with this it doesn't help my twist but it moisturizes my hair so if I do a twist I won't see it curl up but if I if I put it on my hair after it's been dried it, it adds and it touches touches up the moisture of that style that I have in Another favorite of mine is the Argan Oil from Morocco. He protector, smooth out and shine. And you're probably saying, why is she using a heat protector on her hair right now? Yeah, I'm gonna use it um, after I pull out these braids. And in all honesty, I bought it with the intention to blow dry my hair. Cause I was saying like, oh, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and do those stuff those styles but i can probably say my hair has been going a year without heat so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out the braids while i'm talking and i can honestly say that it's a different feeling when your hair is not getting flat ironed 
high heat on your hair it's a different feeling and your hair will love you for it the next product is my olive oil hold and shine wrap or set mousse and I use this product with my wigs um, it's infused with coconut oil yeah I'm not a fan of coconut oil but I use it on my wigs and it it, it it's a nice mousse to have also I've tried the Zimmy mousse and it's also low another product that I use for my wigs is my got to be glued blasting freeze spray so all I do is just spray the product on my hairline right before I apply my wig and you can also use the gel product in this brand but I prefer the freeze spray on to my styling products now I have the eco style in black castor and flaxseed oil I will pick up any product that has castor oil in it and as you can see my eco style is all done Allow me to tell. I I still have the eco style in the olive oil. I literally just picked this up, and from it say olive oil on it. I will take it up. I I mo I mainly use this one, and as you can see, I always try to get them in a big jar. This one is still new, so I'm gonna pull it soon as I do my styles later on. Another product I use for styling is the Ultra Aqua Hair Gel Wax, and this is in. The number three I I use any one really now how could I forget flexi rods these are a staple in any kinky hair girls life you can use these on your natural hair and you can also use these on your weave also another staple of mine is my silk scarf a lot of my friends know this scarf because I either wear this on the road or I sleep in this and I especially love to sleep in it because it is a silk material and it keeps my hair soft and feeling moisturized while I sleep this next item is not a hair care product but this is another staple of mine it's a black lace that I use anytime I'm putting up my hair in like a afro a small afro I love it because it's so long and I can double tie it if I need to so that's it for all my hair and hair care products now I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this section I'm taking down my braids there's no special way that I take down my braids honestly I'm more gentle with my twists because I can definitely keep the curls off my twists but for braids they take so long to pull out so sometimes I alternate between my hands um, and the comb as you see I'm using and then I put a little moisture in my hand because sometimes when I take down the braids I realize there's patches um, dry patches that I just need to moisture just a little bit after taking down one side of my braids I realized that my hair was getting puffy too fast and so I added the twisting cream just to keep it a little bit more moisturized and probably let a little small curls form while I go ahead and pull out the other side I would normally size this a little bit better but let's go ahead and stretch my hair so if you're not very familiar with the stretch method it is a really great technique for type 4 hair um, and all you have to do is just section off your hair and add elastic bands or hair ties to it from the roots to the ends make sure not to leave any lumps and a benefit from this method is that because type 4 hair naturals we have mostly tightly coiled hair and this gives us shrinkage as you can see my hair looks a little bit puffy it looks a look much shorter than it actually is and so what this does is allow my hair to just size down a little bit control my hair so that some of the oils that i've added to it can be retained in my hair as i said i have low porosity hair i have difficulty retaining moisture sometimes my hair is super soft and when you look at it it's so dry there i am adding a little bit more argan oil to my hair to get it silky and nice and i'm adding a little eco style gel to the ends but back to what i was saying about the stretch method 
now when i control my hair in this method it allows the oil from the my hair scalp my sebum to just travel down to my ends and allow it to just get moisturized and and get stretched so that it's not as shrinkagey you get what i'm saying also another thing that i do while my hair is in the elastic bands is i add eco gel to my edges and top it off with hair wax to get my edges laid right before i pull these out and wear my hair so i of course going in with my toothbrush i damp it a little bit with water and i brush the hairs in the direction that i want them to go and then that's when i top it off with the eco gel and the hair wax now this step is very optional because as i sleep on this um, method or if i wash my face throughout the day or so my hair edges my hairline normally the all that product goes eventually but i just do it just to have my hair laid flat and have my hair laid unfortunately i lost some of the audio clips for my videos and at this point i was showing you guys a twirl of my hair while i secured it in the stretch method so as you can see i use my tie head and my edge scarf so right now i'm just gonna allow my hair to dry i usually let my hair air dry and allow it to drink in the moisture that i just added to it guys don't act surprised <laughs> yes i went off camera and did my makeup i have storage issues and space so this video was filmed three days after i put my hair in a stretch method and you're going to see the edges gone and yeah my makeup is different from where the edges is but you're gonna see i'm gonna fix it up and i'm going to pull down this hair So this is the part where you want to be most gentle with your hair. If you realize that your hair is still a little bit dry, you can go ahead and add a little bit more of any of your moisturizer that you like. I added a little bit of my hair lotion and I added a little bit of my argan oil. yay so we're all done look at the movement in my hair guys but as you can see my hair ends are a little bit dry and trashy i need to clip my ends but this is my favorite part though i love fluffing out my hair because now i get to see just a little bit of length added to it So if you're having the same problem like myself where no matter the amount of product you put in your hair and even when your hair feels soft it looks dry and your ends are kind of breaking off a friend of mine told me that what I need to do is kind of add protein treatments um, to my hair regimen monthly so that it can add some bones some, some shine to my hair and as I said I'm still learning what I have found is that olive oil and castor oil works for my hair but this is my hair and I'm just going to love it just the way it is so we have come to the end of this video thankfully this video is gonna be so long i am so sorry guys but i couldn't condense it anymore i really wanted to show you everything that i did and i wanted to show you all my products so how about you comment down below 
any of the products that I showed earlier that you have actually tried or you can comment down below a recommendation for a product that I can review on my channel. Make sure to subscribe guys and like this video.